Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer for Four. So today, guys, we'll be predicting with you guys the Conference League games, Europa League games, and the Champions League games, of course. So we're going to do predictions for all the games this week, guys. There will be times in the description below, and we're going to actually do things a bit differently. Normally, I would start with the Champions League games first. However, I noticed that, um, I, however, I wanted to change things up. You know, I think it will be better to change things up. And I've noticed that generally a lot of you guys stay, don't really stay that long. So it will give you an incentive to stay longer in the video. So... Like I said, we're going to go ahead and do the predictions. Hope you guys do enjoy, and there will be timestamps in the description below. Let's start with the Conference League game first. Okay, so let's start with the first game. We got Braga versus Fiorentina. This is a really, really big one for Braga. Braga have to win this, in my opinion. If Braga do not win this, I think they're in big trouble. So I'm going to actually go with Braga to win this. I'm going to go with 1-0. I think they're going to win 1-0 at home. It'll be very close. Just have Braga to win it. Okay, guys. So first team to score, obviously Braga. First player to score. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Alba Ruiz. Alba Ruiz. Not playing my booster for that one because I'm not very confident in that one. Next we have Bodo Glenn versus Lech Bazan. I expect Bodo to win this. I'm gonna go with a 2-0 um score margin. So let me put Bodo in there. And then um I'm going to go with um, Espered to score. Actually, I'm going to go with Pellegrino. Where's Pellegrino? Yeah, I'm going to go Pellegrino, actually. And you know what? I might play my booster on that one. I might play my booster. Actually, I'm not playing my booster. I'm not playing my main booster for that one. Traven Sport versus Basel. Um, this is a big one, guys. Big, big one. I'm going to go Traven Sport to win this just because they're at home. I'm going to say they win this 2-1. I think I'm going to go with the 2-1. I was tempted to go with 2-1. I mean, 2 0, but I ended up going um, Travis Sport to just about win. And I'm going to go with Maxi Gomez. And yeah. Okay, next we have quarterback versus again. Really, really difficult one to call. Um, I'm going to go with quarterback, though, to win. And I think they'll just about win this 1 0. Um, quarterback to score first. First player to score for them. Let's say Garbani. Let's say him. Ludogratz versus Anderlecht, another really, really difficult one. I'm going to go with the no way win, though. I'm going to go with the way win um, for Anderlecht. I'm going to go with Anderlecht to win. I'm going to say they win 2-1. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the draw. I'm going to go with the draw. I haven't predicted any draws yet, so I'm going to go with the draw. Um, I think Ander Ludogratz will score first, but I do think Anderlecht will get the better result. Um, so I'm going to go at Simani. Uh, sorry, not Simani. Um, Depo. Share versus Partizan. I am going to go with um, Partizan to win 1 0 on the road. Partizan. And I'm going to go with the goal scorer is going to be Pavlich. AK Larneka versus Dinner Pro. I am going to go with. Um, I'm going to go with the draw. 1 1 draw. And I think AK will score. Um, first, and then they'll equalize, and I'm going to go with, you know, I'm going to go with a wild card guess, guys. I'm going to go with Rosales. And Lozo, uh, Lazio versus Sio Cluj. I'm going to go with Lazio to win 3-0. I'm very confident in this one. Lazio, better not let me down here, because if you do, I'm going to, we're going to, I'm going to be putting my booster for this one, too. So, they got to do this, man. And I'm going to go with, um, Milinkovic Savage. I'm going to go with Milinkovic Savage. And I'm playing my booster for that one. So that is my conference league predictions. Real guys, you can check out my original conference league predictions at your uh, playlist, of course. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to play this as well. Let's go ahead and swiftly move on, guys. Swiftly move on to the Europa League. So um, let's go into the Europa League right now. So we're four minutes in. Okay. Let me do it back. Okay. <clears throat> let's start with the first game we got here. Salzburg versus Roma. I'm going to go with a draw. I'm going to go with a draw. Played safe. Um, I think Roma's going to actually score first. And I just think that um, they're going to do it. So I'm going to go with uh, Dybella. Ajax versus Union Berlin. I am going to go with a win for Union Berlin, actually, believe it or not. I'm going to go with a 2 0 away win to Union Berlin. Um, so, who do I want to pick? I'm going to pick Mitchell. That was my thing. Shakhtar versus Renz. Very, very difficult one to call. I'm going to go with Shakhtar just about to win. I'm going to go with them to win 2-1 at home. Shakhtar Donetsk. First player to score for Shakhtar. I'm going to go with... is going to be Sikhan. 
But Arsenal Man United, I'll have a prediction video for that. So stay tuned for that. That will be coming out hopefully on Wednesday. That should be out on Wednesday. So stay for tuned for that. So I'm not going to be predicting that game here. I will save that for that time. Sevilla versus PSB. I think Sevilla is going to narrowly win 1-0. Narrowly win 1-0. Um, so it was Sevilla. Should be quick there. And I am going to go with who's going to score the winner for Sevilla. I'm going to go with Yusuf in Naziri. Leverkusen versus Monaco. I am going to go with a very high scoring. I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw. 2-2 draw. This is the both teams are just um they have an atta amazing attack. Um and yeah, I just think that it's going to be interesting. So I'm going to go with um not Asman actually. I'm going to go with Schick. Uh Sporting versus Michelin. I'm going to go with Sporting to win. I'm going to say they win 3-1. I was tempted to go with the clean sheet, but Sporting not that great defensively, so I think they'll concede, but I think they should have enough to win. First leg, and they will, yeah, they should have enough. And I'm gonna go with um, who do I go with my goal score? I'm gonna go with Pedro Gonzalez, he's pretty much their best player. Marita has also been great too for them. Uh, should I play my booster? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna play my booster. I was tempted to play the booster for Juventus nonce, but Juventus nowadays kind of look a little funky out of the woods. So I'm gonna go 2 0 win for Juventus though, even though I'm not that confident with them just because recently I haven't been playing that well. Um, okay, so goal score. Who's going to score? I'm going to go with Chiesa. Actually, I'm going to go with Vlaovic. Vlaovic. So those are my Europa League predictions, guys. Now it is time for the Champions League, guys. The moment you guys have been waiting for, guys. The moment you guys have been waiting for. UCL, man. UCL. Okay, let's start with the first game we got here. It's PSG Bayern Munich. This is going to be a good one, guys. Good, good game. I'm going to go with the 2-2 draw, guys. 2-2 draw. Um, I just think for me, both teams have been really solid. I actually think... I actually think Byron's going to score first, actually, believe it or not. Um, and I'm going to go with Musiela. Oh, player of the match. Wow, this will be difficult to call. <laughs> um, I, believe it or not, I think Musiela's going to be the man of the match. I think Musiela's going to be, guys. I'm going to go with Musiela. Hmm. Um, Milan Spurs. Very, very difficult one to call. I'm going to go with a 1-1 one, one draw. A 1-1 one, one draw. And I actually think Spurs will actually score first, believe it or not. And I'm going to play over the match. This is really difficult. Really, really difficult. I don't really... It's too difficult to call for this stuff. I think... Hoiberg is suspended for the first leg. Yeah, he's suspended. He's not going to be playing. I'm going to go with... And Ben Takor is... Mis he's injured right now, so... Ugh, this is difficult, guys. I don't know, man. Who's going to stand out in this matchup? I'm going to actually go with the surprise one. You guys might be surprised. I'm going to go Ben Isser. I think he's going to be the man of the, the player of the match. Dorman Chelsea. Ooh, this is a really difficult one, guys, to call. Dorman have been in great form, guys. They're coming into this amazing form. I actually could see Dorman winning this. Because Chelsea, while they have been playing better, Chelsea just haven't been able to get the results. So, you know what, guys? I'm going to go with upset. I think Dorman's going to win the first leg. Um, I'm going to go Dorman to narrowly win the first. I'm going to say they win 1-0. Actually, I, I'll i say they win 2-1. I was going to go with 1-0, but I don't trust Dorman defensively. So I'm going to actually go with a 2-0 win to Dorman. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go the 2 on one for Dorman, and I'm going to go with, who's going to score the first goal? I'm going to go with is Sebastian Haller. Club Rouge versus Benfica. I'm going to actually go with the 2 on one for Benfica. I know it's really easy to, uh, disregard Club Rouge, although I do think Club Rouge will be great at home. So I, I do think, um, Club Rouge will give it a good account. They won't have enough though. They won't have enough. So I'm going to go with goal score. I'm going to say... I'm just going to score the first goal for Club Rouge. I mean, sorry, for Benfica. I'm going to go with Joao Mario. I'm going to go with Joao Mario. And I'm going to play my booster, guys. Play my booster. So, oh, and not play. Sorry. Um, the, I What is it called? I need to do the player of the match. But those are my Champions League predictions, guys. Champions League predictions. So, I'll leave the links in the description below for all the links if you guys want to join. I want you guys to do your predictions as well. And, remember, guys, I'll be doing a live stream on Wednesday and Thursday uh, to review the UCL games and the Europa League. Europa League and Conference League games. And then, of course, on Friday, we'll be doing a Champions League preview for the next week's game. So I hope you guys do enjoy. So I'll see you guys later then. Make sure you guys like this, like this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. And comment down below with your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.